it's Monday morning. It's about 9.30. Um, <laughs> not a good start to Monday so far. Uh, little man has fallen off the sofa. He's injured his back leg and I have got to take him to the vet at quarter past ten. Um, feeling guilty that he fell off the sofa. Feeling that's all my fault. Yeah, not good on that one. Um, what else? Baby Bear's back from her trip to Cornwall. Looks like she had a fab time. Um, I'll try and post some of the pictures if I can. If I can doctor them so that the only person you see is Baby Bear. Um, yeah, that might be difficult. But they, the people they went to had one of these pools where you can swim against. There's like an artificial tide put on it. You know what I mean. And then they swim at it. Um, it would appear Baby Bear's dad's having one put in his grounds. So, lucky girl, aren't she? My little baby bear. Um, what else is new? Not a lot, really, um, since the live. Thank you to everybody that came along on the live. Um, I hope you're all well. Um... Yeah, um, on the camper van front, I've decided wholeheartedly that I'm not going to buy the posh one, assuming I'm not tied into some ridiculous contract. And I keep meaning to find the paperwork for that, so that must go on my to-do list. Paperwork for the van, I've got to wash all the floors, the hard floors today, change beds. There were several things on my list, but I'm afraid little man now comes ahead. She said to me on the phone, and has he eaten this morning? Because we might have to put him out for um, x-rays. And I was like, oh my God. I'm really worried about him. Why, my little man. Oh, I shouldn't have let him on the sofa. I feel so guilty. <sighs> right. Oh God, now everybody's barking. <laughs> No, don't go that way. No, no, little man, no, no, no. Oh, God, it's all happening. Right, you go that way. Little you. Man, you can't. Jack, get down. Go on, just get down. Here you come here. You with your poorly leg, come. Alright. Poorly leg. It's this one. Get off this chair somehow. Sorry, you ended up in a black hole then, didn't you? Right, little man, you need to try and keep your legs still. Right, I'm going upstairs, guys, to get ready to go out. Need to find little man's bag in the spare room. Oh, little man. I'm worried about the little man. I don't know whether to put him down or not, or what to do. I suppose I'm going to have to. I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I can't go to the toilet holding a dog with a sore leg, can you? Uh, is it symmetrical? Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. He's definitely carrying it. Oh, little man. What did you do, little man? Eh? What did you do? Look, it's just hanging there. I'm so worried. What did you do? <coughs> Little man, don't go down the stairs. Little man. Little man. Don't go down the stairs, little man. Not today, not right now. Little man. Is it not working, your leg? Are you poorly? Have you got to sit still? Oh, little man. Oh, bless you. I'm going to put you in your bag in a minute. I think it's the best place for you, don't you? And you won't move. Hmm. Oh 
I wish you weren't poorly. Why did you fall off the sofa, little man? Right, Beth, I'm going to try and do the next bit without booing. <laughs> As you can see, I have been crying. Um, so, took Archie to the vet. Um, a German lady who kept saying ya yeah quite a lot, which... Um, I know I shouldn't, but I find it um, takes me back to all those war films, I'm afraid. It's just the era we grew up in, wasn't it? It was very born, you know, within 20 years of the end of the Second World War. And a lot of the films and a lot of the uh, stuff I saw as a kid was Germany the enemy. Um, that said, I had a German pen pal. I've stayed in Germany. Don't think I'm anti, but I'm just saying. Anyway. She gave me a telling off for letting him on the sofa in the first place. <laughs> um, and then she examined him. Um, basically, she can't feel a break, but his right knee is very sore. And because there are so many growth plates and so many little bits of bone, she wants to x-ray him. So I've already spent 400 quid before the day has ended. And let's hope that they find nothing much and that it's just the growth plates she said it could be where two growth plates have clashed to each other it could be a little hairline fracture really realistically what we're looking at is cage rest uh as the best scenario for two weeks um and worst case surgery so i'm feeling mighty guilty <sighs> Mighty guilty. Um, I shouldn't have told Baby Bear, but I did. So I've just had a phone call from her, and she's like, I want to come home! Come and get me! <laughs> no. You need to stay there. I'm just going to go into Argos and see if they've got any um, pet steps. I've seen them before. <laughs> Monty's starting to get, like, uh, arthritis in his legs anyway, so he's been struggling to get up and down. So... I'm just going to get some steps. It'll ruin the aesthetic of my <laughs> styling of the room that I've been so concentrated on. But my pets are more important. More important. I hate crying in front of people. It makes me look like a... But my... Normally, when you're in a normal place, mental health-wise... Um, you have a, a resilience to a certain level where you can maintain the stiff upper lip. But I found since the fibro and since the nervous breakdown, for want of a better phrase, um, I don't have that. And literally the moment the emotion hits my heart or wherever it hits, I get the tears and there's no control in them. I am just, I'm just like, um, a hormonal pregnant woman, I guess, in some respects. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock. She said she didn't think she'd be able to do anything till at least midday because he had to empty his stomach from where um, he'd eaten breakfast this morning at half eight. So it's just a waiting game and I will keep you updated, Bear Fam. Okay, Bear Fam, uh, it's 12.40. I've done some shopping, bought some new lampshades, bought a little thing for my new side unit. Thought it was quite cute. Um, haven't got my picture up yet, but I made this. Well, I didn't make it, make it. I bought it and put it together. But um, got my new light, what do you reckon? Alexa, turn on second plug. <laughs> Alexa, turn on first plug. <laughs> How good is that? And they match. Not from the same place, but... <laughs> Alexa, turn off first plug. Alexa, turn off second plug. Amazon Smart Plugs. Currently 9 99 on Amazon. Um... Yeah, what else did I buy? I think that was it, really. Lampshades. Oh, dog bed. Because I was feeling guilty about chunk. So I bought him a little bed for the floor that matches everything. Here. 
little furry bed and um yeah i bought him a little toy what have i done with that i just felt guilty because everything he's got is second hand from the others and after today i just i miss him so much oh, i bought some dog food he's on this stuff mini puppy royal canine what did i do oh baby bear came back with presents from cornwall for me i've got a llama soap which is a soap wrapped in llama wool which apparently uh shrinks with the soap stops the soap uh being wasted stops it slipping smells divine she bought me some fudge a little box of fudge uh she bought me oh a beautiful book that made me cry and it only made me cry because it's got beautiful illustrations of dogs in it dog's life and then as you go through i'll put you on the shelf a minute as you go through it's got pictures of all the dogs so yorkies but proper look that's springers and they're like proper watercolors and they are amazing yeah it made me cry because there's like that's molly i had english ball that looked just like that that made me cry uh there's rosie not that i've seen rosie in a long time um yeah various other dogs <laughs> so i thought that was a really you know she is just the most amazing daughter i'm very lucky uh, so that's a beautiful book for my bookshelf because I've not had a bookshelf in a long time. So I'm creating a bookshelf. Uh, it's got a mixture of her books and mine because I don't. It's not fair just to be mine. So at the moment there's a Mrs Hinch book. You read the new Mrs Hinch book? Mrs Hinch, Hinch yourself happy. I've actually got two copies for some baby bear ordered too. So I could possibly do a competition for for one of you to win one. Oh, this is the other thing I bought. I bought this um, wood block calendar thing. Just fancied it. Like the grey and the wood matches my grey and my wood. And I just like, I'm always wondering what the date is. So I like this. So that's that. Um, all the other things I've had for a while. Um, oh, I bought a new dog bowl for Chunk. That was the other thing he's been using our uh, plates because I didn't have any bowls specially for him. So I thought I'd get him bowls that matched. And I get him a little so he can have water of his own because he seems to have trouble with the other one and his own food bowl. Um, and it's like raised up a little bit for him. But I thought it was quite doody. So that's his spot. Moo has his spot over there. His Disney mat's missing. It's over there. And Jack has this one. Right. Quarter to one. No news on Chunk. Little man, I'm missing him, something chronic. You wouldn't think you could miss a dog you've only had two weeks as much as I'm missing. Chunky. Well, I'm going to take the other two around the block. I'm not going to go too far in case they they ring. I don't want to be miles away up the hill. And she says, come and get him. I don't want to leave him there any longer than he needs to be. I've got this vision of kennels in vets being a bit like um, Jean Valjean in Les Mis sort of hard labour imprisonment <laughs> and that um he'll be crying and nobody will be caring for him and he won't be getting his chest cuddles that he likes so much <laughs> i said to her is there anybody with a chest that's going to be able to cuddle him because he really does like to sit on my chest and she's like well, hers was similar the german lady so she said well he can have mine but I've got patients to see. She said, but a couple of the nurses have got a reasonable sized chest. So, oh, I can't get the blooming label. Everything's conspiring against me today. I'm not having the best of days, really, I'm not. Right, dog poo bags. I'd like to have a couple ready for emergency poop situations. One, two. Oh, right, because I have trouble opening them and they get all like too tight and go on then, but you can go. Ugh. Right, I'm so hot. Look at me. I had a lovely shower before I went out and now I'm all hot and sweaty betty again. Cannot stop thinking about my little man. I just want a ball. That's the way I feel. I want a ball. 
I know I'm getting it back, but it feels like somebody's taken them away from me. Well, they have, but you know what I mean. Oh, I am such a wuss these days. I am emotionally wrecked. I just don't have, I just don't have the ability to cope. I have turned into something that I never thought I would be. And I hurt. Today, the more stressed I get, here it comes, the more I hurt. I've taken pills, but they don't seem to be touching it at the moment. Just aching and pain in all my joints. Bloody fibro, it's a beast. I wish I'd put some shorts on. It's warmer than I thought as well. Not forming people. Those of you that have been with me for a long time know that I have obsession with this particular horse chestnut tree. But the leaves have already browned. The season is... Look, and the conkers are... Oh, come on, finger. Come back. What's the pond looking like? Oh, somebody come in the other way. Always a pain in the butt. Mm, not that busy, is it? Not that busy by the look of it. Oh, a bit of a chase going on. More hens. A few ducks. Hmm. Look how much the reeds have grown. I could stand here a couple of weeks ago and see the pond. Now it's just reeds. Reed. It's like some mystical wish tree. Look at it. Big and all spaced out with just these little yellow tufty things. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Where did the bumblebee go? moving too much. <laughs> I can't keep it still long enough to get a picture of it. There we go. I can't manage it. Anyway, it's pretty. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Weirdly like that. There's another one over there, look. I can see another yellow wish tree. It's funny, isn't it? When you, when you finally notice something that's probably been there for years, you then see it everywhere. Same with cars or books or anything, isn't it? Once you notice it, all of a sudden you see it everywhere. Pretty. I think all the hedgerows are pretty. I quite like the random, messy wildness of nature. Uh, beautiful, um, Missiles in there, look. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. That's a better view of the pond. Just one lone moorhen on the middle. Just one lone moorhen. Nobody else, nobody else anywhere to be seen. Ah, another one down there. Just down bottom left, probably too far down for you to see, maybe just there, look. Oh, and over there, what's that over there? Another moorhen. Okay, I lie, there's three moorhens. What's the current? I don't, oh, there's another moorhen. God, there's too many moorhens. All of a sudden they've come out of nowhere. I think I'm going to have to meditate when I get home. If um, the vets hasn't rung by then. I need to calm myself the hell down. In a right blooming state. 
On the plus side, there's loads of wild roses to sort of keep me amused. The reeds have grown so much. I'm used to coming here every two or three days. Of course, I haven't been here for at least two weeks, have I? Because I've had Chunk and um, Archie. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I always give dogs names and they always end up with a fucking silly catchphrase name. Anyway, um, I haven't been over it because I he doesn't walk on the ground yet, and I can't. I refuse. To, I can't manage two leads and a little man near the road, so I've been going up the hill. It doesn't involve me going near a main road. That is why the reeds have grown more than I thought they had. Well, they have grown the same amount as I thought they... Oh, you know what, exactly what I'm saying. This enormous honeysuckle. It smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, wish I could pass the scent to you. Right up the fence from top to bottom. Okay, bear fam, hands free. <laughs> or anybody starts. Right, I've just had a call from uh, the vet. Um, Archie is sedated. He has had x-rays. They cannot find any breaks. Um, the growth plates look like growth plates. She describes it as looking like Tetris in there because there's so many small bones. Um, anyway, she's given him pain relief. Uh, which she said will last until tomorrow lunchtime. And then we've got to see if he's still lame then. But she says he should really try and... Sorry if you can't see me. Ah! Um, he should really sit still. Keep away from the other two. No playing. Cage rest. He's going to love that, isn't he? Oh, as if life was not complicated enough. So, it's pickup time. Hence why I'm driving and you can't see me. Off to get baby bear. Put jumper on because I've got, managed to get um, poly filler all down my t-shirt. It's right where my nipple is and it looks it looks ridiculous anywhere else on the t-shirt would have been fine but right there so i've got polyfiller i keep picking at it which is wrecking the t-shirt to be fair anyway a polyfiller my nipple well i didn't actually polyfiller my nipple i obviously lent on it after i'd done it to the wall but still um And I haven't picked Archie up yet because she says I can have him when you can't have him until he's um, more alert and she can make sure that the sedatives worn off all right. So and then I've got to go and pay the four hundred pound bill. Don't fall off the sofa; it's an expensive business. And I'm going to order um, some of these soft uh, sponge steps from Amazon. So him and Monty can get up to the sofa without any grief. 
I probably could do with about three lots, one for the bed, one for each sofa. Uh, my house is so small that that just would not work. I do think that's a tad bit of overkill. I might have to lug it upstairs each night so that Chunk can get on and off the bed and then I wouldn't have to keep waking up to lift him up and down. So, Monday has passed in a, well, in a haze really. I can't say I've really paid much attention to anything. Um, really paid much attention to anything just like I'm not paying you any attention right now bear fam <laughs> oh dear still it's a bit like you're sat in the car with me and we're driving to pick up baby bear isn't it well I am driving to pick up baby bear but you're just not sat in the car with me and I'm still picking up a nipple <laughs> yeah, good job nobody's looking isn't it they think I was odd Nearly all gone. It's not quite the big white blob it was to start with. I'll take this jumper off in a minute. Right. Going into the school, so I'm going to switch you off. I'll let you know how he is when I got him. Come here. Right, Bear Fam, sit rep. Come um, here. The chunk is home. The chunk um, is being. Annoying. Somewhat annoying, I have to say. Um, she said to us, the vet, that he'd be sort of um, sleepy and uninterested. <laughs> oh. He's come home ravenous and um, full of the joys of spring. So, all's well that ends well. Um, fingers crossed that nothing else is going on and that it will just resolve itself. He is actually load bearing on it, weight bearing on it now, although he's limping. Um, so she's trying to get him to go busy, busy. If you're wondering what the commotion is on over there. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's probably about it for t today. <laughs> oh, she's busy hurting his other leg. <laughs> um. Go for a wee now. That won't work. <laughs> Go for a wee now. Just tap the mat gently. Psy, psy, psy. Psy, psy, psy. Not in there. Oh, Bubba's. You scared him, didn't you? His left leg collapsed. Oh, I'm putting all the weight on the left leg to try and save the right leg. Oh, no, his left leg's pushed out to the side, like, right the way out. And she says his left leg was out. Yeah, she did. He's, like, holding it all the way out there, like that. Look. All the way over here, and his body's over here. <laughs> Oh, he can if he wants to. I can't leave him then. Then we on the carpet. I can't care less. I'll have a hot water, please. Because <laughs> uh, you're my body work slave worker person. You're not going to make me hot water. Oh, here it comes. So this is the invalid. So, little man, tell everybody about your exciting day. This is Archie's get well present from me. This is Freddy the Fox. Freddy the Fox and you are good friends already, aren't you? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. He's got chewy feet, isn't he, Archie? He's definitely still sore on it, I don't. We'll just have to see what, what he's like in the morning. I suspect it's some sort of pulled muscle. So 
Let's hope it's not something like a cruciate ligament or something like that. Also, the reason I got you that rosemary paper one. Yeah. So I thought you'd like rosemary. Lavender. Rosemary? There wasn't a lavender. That is lavender. Is it? Yeah. Let me go out a bit, wait. Thanks for your finger in front of the camera. What are you doing? Magic. <laughs> what was it? Where was that? Coming out of that bit. <laughs> well, now we've got at least 10 <laughs> seconds of your finger. Get off, woman. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Madness. Right, stop in the plump chops. Well, let me film in the telly. Don't know. I was going to film my nice telly and stand and the candle, and then I see there's a blinking thingy. What's it there? Spoiling the aesthetic. Yeah, there we go. My hundred hour candle. Four candles! Oh, pretty. Can you take that? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, you'll burn yourself! I haven't got hold of it. It's over it. Can you take the plastic pot out into the kitchen for me, please? Oh, oh life's horrific. I asked her for a gla uh, glass, a mug of hot water, and to take something in the kitchen. There is only one at the moment. That's an eight cut one. And the other one's in the bin. Because it was warped and wobbling. My fudge, I know you do. You want me to eat my fudge? You want to eat my fudge? <laughs> Got my own fudge. You still want to eat my fudge? I know you do. You want to eat my fudge, don't you? You want to eat the fudge? Mm. Could you put it on here for me, please? No, there's no room in there. My geese are the fudge. Oh, that's called. Having a cake and eating it. Very fuzzy. Oh my goodness. Stop walking in front of the camera. Oh, you annoying plonk chops. What are you going to force me out then? Like what? Don't answer that. Guess who's opening the fudge? Fudge? What did you say? The begins with an A. Oh, uh, you chunk. Archie, did anybody say that box was for you? What? Does it look like it's... Oh, I suppose it does look like an Archie-sized present. Darling, that's not for you. Archibald! Oh, by the way, um, Morty didn't want it. Okay. Archie! <laughs> uh, what the one? Let's get this foot round it now. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, no. <laughs> you can have the box, Archibald. How about that? Don't I think, don't think you better have any fudge. 
beautiful daughter bought me this, but I told you that earlier when I showed you. Uh, for, um, at the moment, it's Archie's. a foot long ball of fur is trying to attack it. I wonder how long it would actually take him to get to the fudge. He's doing a pretty sterling job of trying to rip the sh sh rip it up. He's got those feet. He's got like jack feet, those articulated ones. I think Monty must have just missed out on her. Hello. Oh, I can see you. Oh, I thought that was going to attack me then. I'll go back over here actually. I really don't like that. <laughs> All right, little man. I'm sorry. I'm going to spoil your fun now. <laughs> the state of this fuck. Yeah. I paid 50p for that. Oh. Paid 50p for the box. <laughs> oh, bless the little cotton. A cheap dog toy. <laughs> Excuse me. It's my turn. fault <laughs> you I'm sorry I don't recall asking for your help what's actually in it well, I'll tell you when I get there it's a bag, the box. Yeah. Yours is a <laughs> Same bags. I haven't got a label. Look at his head in the box looking for some, whatever's in it. There's a very disappointing box, you know. You got it. You got what came in it. I know you have. There it is. That's what I want. <laughs> tell me what I want. What I really, really want. Oh, tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Could you the telly, please? Right, Bear Fam. That is it from us today. So, uh, all good news by the end of the day. He looks poorly, doesn't he? He's in destructive mode. Right, take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you for watching. Sub up if you haven't. And uh, we'll catch you on the morrow. From both of us. Thanks, Dad, by the way. I bought you that. I wanted to say thanks, Dad. <laughs> Just to wind him up, but yeah. Thanks, Dad. I actually did mean it, though. She meant it, I didn't. I've got to that age when you bend over or when you laugh and he <laughs> body does a. I always thought old people were just making it up, but it does happen. You get to a certain age, you wait, you get to a certain age, and then you bend over or you laugh and go... <laughs> Look at me like that now, you wait. And if I'm still alive and you do it, I am going to wet <laughs> my pants, probably. <laughs> Don't even think about jumping on the floor. Right, I'm going in case the dog dies again. Over there. Oi. Right, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you on the morrow. Yeah, she's going to put your fart in. <laughs> Am I going to put my fart in? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. How could you do such a thing?
phone. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder what the hell you were doing. Oh God, it's madness here today. Right. We've all got them, love. I've got two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine holes. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just three thumbs up. Oh yeah! <laughs> I've got ten. I've got ten holes too. How many holes have you got? Oh, twelve actually. How'd you buy that one out? <laughs> yeah, but holes as in recesses into your body. <laughs> I'd forgotten that one. I'd have just said that one and that one. Which are two of them? That one and that one. <laughs> no, I'd have gotten that one. I'd have gone for that one and that one. <laughs> okay, so not the top one, the middle and the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a traffic light system, is it? Not um, the red, but the amber and green. <laughs> I'd have gone for the amber and the green, yeah. <laughs> I'm really sure. Really sure. Really That's okay. I can't say what I was going to say. <laughs> and I'm potentially going to end the vlog now. Jack's just gone. Oh. oh, my little stinker bomb face thing, my bob. Don't you, Jackie? Stinky bomb, finely bobbly, what's the thing? That's rude. Much. Stinky bomb? At least it sent Chunk to sleep. And probably you by now. Right, I'm going. <laughs> Catch you on the morrow. Oh. <laughs> Keep your traffic lights going. <laughs>